Hi, my name is Alex Fleischman, and welcome to the video overview for the Newton's second law demonstration. So what's going on in this demonstration? We are given two 500 gram lab carts compressed by a spring. What's the goal of this demonstration? The goal is to find the relationship between force and mass, force and acceleration, and mass and acceleration. In trial one, we have lab carts compressed of equal mass. So which car traveled the farthest? Well, both traveled the same distance. Which had the larger acceleration? Well, both accelerated at the same rate. Trial 2. The lab carts have a mass ratio of 2 to 1, so 1,000 grams to 500 grams. What ended up happening was the cart of less mass ended up traveling the farthest, and the cart of less mass also had the larger acceleration. Trial 3. The lab carts have a mass ratio of 3 to 1, so 1,500 grams to 500 grams. As you would expect, the cart of less mass traveled the farthest, and the cart of less mass had the larger acceleration. Well, what relationship can we make between acceleration and the force between the spring and the cart? Write this down in your notebook. We'll return to this. Now let's look at what happens when we change the compression of the spring between the two carts, but we keep the mass the same. Let's start with a small compression. Now let's increase the compression and increase it a little more. Well, what happened? Well, the smaller the compression, the smaller the acceleration. And the larger the compression, the larger the acceleration. So now in your notebooks, write down what you think is the relationship between acceleration and mass. Let's go over some questions. What causes the cart's initial acceleration? Well, it was the compressed spring releasing a force on the two carts. Remember the two observations you made in your notebook? Well, pull one of those out. How does an increase in compression relate to acceleration? Well, an increase in compression is an increase in force. Therefore, an increase in force increases the acceleration of the cart. Were you right? Let's pull out our other observation. How does an increase in mass relate to acceleration? Well, an increase in mass leads to a decrease in acceleration. Therefore, we could state that mass and acceleration are inversely proportional to each other. So we now have two relationships. How can we put both of these relationships together in one equation? Well, we could state that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. This mathematical relationship is known as Newton's second law of motion. 